Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm Colin. And I'm Karsten. And this is Let's Talk TV. This week we'll be looking at Netflix Originals Castlevania series. A long-running four-season, I believe, uh, anime, technically, um, about Trevor Belmont and, of course, Dracula, as well as a few other characters about fighting uh, dark creatures and vampires. So let's just hop in. Uh, start with the story. What did we think? Um, I think, just throwing it out there, that the first season should have literally just been the first and second season. You just combined it. Because the first season was only five episodes long of basically uh, Trevor and uh, this character Sypho, which is basically his... Uh, Love interest. Well, also a... It's his partner. Like Robin... Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's his partner that Lord. she uses magic, he uses his whip, of course. But it, it, the fire, first five episodes are basically just setting up Dracula hating the world, which is very well done, and them finding Alucard. Like, that should have just been the first season adding on to the second. It shouldn't have been too separate. I agree. When um, I was watching, I was on the second season halfway in, and I didn't even realize, because I didn't expect the first season to be that short. Yeah, but, no, I mean, we, we talked about this with Shadow and Bone. The, the short seasons um, are, are really I annoying. mean, that's a, in a usually short, the five episodes, yeah. and the episodes are 20, uh, 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, damn, dog. I mean, they get a little Stretch longer throughout the uh, seasons. Um, I just think if I had watched it when only season one was yeah. available, I wouldn't have even bothered coming yeah. back. I'm not waiting a year and a half for what should have been in season one, that would have been really annoying to me, at least personally. No, I don't disagree. Now, I didn't, though, so I think highly of it. I think everyone should, but yeah. No, I think overall the story's really well done. Um, for me, I don't think it's that complex of a storyline. It, it does... Dracula had leash fit. Dracula summoned hell. Hell break loose. Trevor beat vampire. Uh, to be fair, basically, to be fair, that's only the first half or so. And well, I mean, I you felt... can you can summate the whole story as in Trevor defeats Dracula to stop Dracula killing all mankind. That's all it is. There's they a they don't that. really we have side characters. You have side characters, side you don't with really have... and then side against Dracula. Kind of, we have Isaac growing into his own. We're not sure where he's oh, building up those characters, but his storyline. The story-wise, we have him being a partner of Dracula at the beginning, one of his forge masters, alongside, uh, what was the name of the other one? And Isaac and Hector. Hector. And Isaac slowly, I think, is starting to realize that maybe Dracula's way wasn't the right way. Well, yeah, but I wouldn't say that's another storyline. That is That's flavor story to the storyline. No, he has his own storyline. He I has think. character well, development, I, I but I wouldn't call that another story. I think we look at this like, th there's basically two storylines the first two seasons, clearly, mm -hmm. all about Dracula and taking him down. All about that. But then the second the, uh, the second part, the third and fourth season, are all about the other vampires. The vampire, uh, the four sister... They aren't there actually sisters. Three? No, there are four. There are four. Uh, the two, two, the two, two of them are lovers, lovers, the little one, and then oh, the girl okay. that's crazy. Um... But those four, and it basically is that the third and fourth season are all about them and the it's other dealing, characters instead yeah, but if of you, Dracula. If you even you, even well, if you look at that storyline, that storyline's basically just Dracula again. Well, no, Dracula wanted to kill all men. Well, they wanted to bring Dracula it's back. It's dealing with still. the aftermath of the war, is what it is. It, they they don't deal with the aftermath. Was really. a war, it was a slaughter. Yeah, yes, I mean, but now it's, there's it's, a war against mankind that this... Uh, uh, the crazy sister is trying to push. God, what's her name? Um, uh, it's um, Carmela. Carmela, yeah, crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I, I don't know. That just seems basically like a carbon copy from the first set. I mean, I think it does have a lot of the same aspects in there. Like, of course, you know, they still are piggybacking off Dracula's popularity because he's the most popular vampire ever created 
Uh, so they do have to piggyback off him in the third and fourth. Oh, they always want to bring him back, and they're always, like, looking at either his backstory, his memories, him in hell even, like, stuff like that. But I think it is different enough, I think, in certain ways. I mean, personally, I felt the first two seasons were were very cut and dry and, and honestly a, a little slow for me. Like, I didn't fully get into the season. Slow? But... First season was five episodes. It, well, <laughs> slow in the story progression. Quick in this episodes. But it felt slow is what I mean. It didn't fully grip me until season three and four when we had the more semi-complex things going on. I mean, the, it starts out you're just killing Dracula. The rest beyond that is a bit more... Yeah, but that's nuanced. what I'm saying. After that, it's not really nuanced. No, it's, it's let's kill Carmella now. That's all the second part is. I mean, I think, though, uh, the actual story um, is pretty well paced, in I, my opinion. No, I, I think it was... Um, I think it's very well done and well written, especially, but very well paced throughout all of it, even if season one really isn't a season. But even then, it has a good pacing to it and actually gets a lot done in the time it has. Uh, with the two seasons, you know, first being find Alucard, they finally find him, whatever. Second season, uh, good pacing to they finally kill Dracula. Third, someone's trying to resurrect Dracula and they stop that. And then fourth is when all hell breaks loose with Isaac, Hector, the other vampires, and as well as, in the end, death. I will say that um, one thing I did really like about the storyline is that every season does have a story ending, so there is some sort of big um, payoff at the end of each season, which is really yeah. nice. Yeah, and, I didn't um, even notice that. And yeah. I was I was saying that that allows the, the different story to progress every season. If we continue changing the story with one big thing happening, we can have more nuanced and varying stories for the future, hopefully. And it slowly started to build on itself that way, I felt. Yeah, I mean, with with a uh, format like this, where you have basically a, not quite an anthology, but a story within the season, you, I mean, you could make it 20 seasons long then, mm -hmm. as long as you have a competent uh, enough writer, well, I mean, which apparently they do. The but. game, it is based on, at least The Killing Dracula is pretty much based verbatim on Castlevania 3, and so they have a lot of lore they're pulling from, and they could use for the future seasons as well, which helps them out. I mean, yeah, yeah, but they're they're doing a spinoff, so they won't be doing... I mean, I, I like how they ended it. They mm -hmm. know that they needed yeah. to end it on a high. Yes. They didn't I, milk well, it. Well, I think that was a really good way to end it, too. Just, it, it was not just being a high. Ending. I think that oh was a well-developed we ending. It summated the whole story. Yeah, we got like, the Belmonts continuing. We got humanity just trying to come on the rise. Well, even but, looking at it, uh, like, season... One and two, Trevor is always the main character, the mainest character, mm -hmm. but Alucard and Sypha do back him up. And even in season two, when they fight Dracula, Alucard does most of the work. Yeah. Trevor gets one good hit in, Sypha gets one, and then you get to see Alucard gets the, you know, the fire and, and gets a one-on-one -on -one his own dad, and we get to see all of that. And then, you know, he dies. And basically to Alucard alone, he had a little bit of help, but that was awesome seeing that. But then in the fourth season, they let, you know, for other reasons, Sypha and Alucard can't help in this fight. And Trevor gets the badass scene at the end where death appears and he's like, nah, if I'm going to die, you're coming with me, bro. But... Uh, let's let's go on to our next talking point. Uh, we kind of built on it a little. We got characters. Yeah, the characters. So first off, let's talk about the main three: yeah. Trevor, Sypha, and Alucard. Um, um, so yeah, no, no. Trevor and Trevor and Sypha are definitely the main characters, with Trevor being the real main and Sypha being his backup. But um, I do think Alucard and Sypha and Trevor all piggyback off each other. Um, how they grow as characters, especially for character development for the three. Um, you know, they kind of poke fun at it when, uh, I think it's the third season when Sypha makes a joke, like, oh, I must have learned that from you regarding to Trevor, because, you know, she spent so much time with him. And it's kind of nice to see characters actually develop around each other than just developing I mean, and you have that scene where plot. Alucard's in his mansion alone talking about how he's going to go save those people even though he hates people kind of at this point, semi-cynical, and he says, "Oh, I'm turning into Belmont. He always says oh, yeah. that at the end. He says, oh, I'm becoming Belmont. 
And, yeah. and like, you know, he, he half jokingly though, mm-hmm. it's, it's actually, he's like, wow, I'm becoming Belmont. He's a nice person technically. Well, he but, idolizes uh, Belmont to a certain extent. At the same time, Trevor is uh, growing in a sense that, you know, he's, he's being brought down to earth, you know, he's, he's being taught that, hey, I'm, I'm mortal, hey, I... Yeah, yeah he, he also started with a Trevor who was just a drunkard and didn't care about his family, into a Trevor who is going to uphold his crest with honor. Yeah, I mean, in, in the first episode, he's a drunkard, like you mm-hmm. said, and loses that fight, uh, basically, against the... I mean, the, he's taught against four people. Yeah, against four drunk. people, but he literally loses, and you see, you know, he's not the OP anime protagonist mm-hmm. of most anime that gets things done. No, he gets put in his place numerous times and learns every single time. Also, I like how you constantly see uh, his progression in... He doesn't just, like, pull new things out of the, you know, mm-hmm. air. You constantly see him going and learning things, yeah. like, new gadgets, new, items, new yeah. weapons, everything like that. He can't actually, uh, he can't actually, like, read rune magic or anything, and he Alucard and Scythe have yeah. to literally do that for him, which is pretty cool to see. But other than that, let's, um, uh, the, Dracula's the big one. Yes, Dracula. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he was done well. I mean, we didn't see a lot of him, to be fair. But he was done well. I think his transformation uh, from falling in love with a woman and trying to live like a human to uh, them murdering her brutally so he literally turns into someone that just wants to eradicate everything really made sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was very and well done. And his mental degradation that. throughout it. Where he's yeah, I mean, just he, going crazy and not caring anymore. It was well Yeah, well halfway done. through the second season, they're like, yeah, um, I wouldn't want to take him in a fight, but, like, I'm pretty sure Dracula hasn't literally fed in months. Mm-hmm. And it's like, how strong is he if he hasn't fed in months? And he can still go toe-to-toe with any of the vampires. I mean, he know? is the head vampire. Yeah, you know. Um, uh, what I about... Mean, uh, Continue. I really liked Dracula, but honestly, other than Trevor and Sypha, my favorite character was Isaac. I was about to ask my favorite, favorite character. Well Isaac was my favorite character as well. So let's Isaac, talk, uh, explain what they are. Explain what Isaac and Hector are. So to Isaac Dracula. and Hector are uh, forge masters, and basically what it means is is they can... Uh, and the, the vampires, Carmela and Dracula, use them to uh, build these armies, especially the ones and that then, can fight in the, uh, the day. Um... And so uh, Hector and Isaac both do the same thing, but Hector, um, for me, he just didn't seem to develop. He had some development with um, uh, Lenore, Mm -hmm. but realistically, that was just kind of a a side love story. For me, Isaac, you saw his, his... um, complete indifference to the human race slowly changed to one of, well, you know, maybe humans aren't so mm-hmm. bad. Maybe they aren't all terrible. With that one yeah. scene with uh, the, I think the old man yeah, that sells him stuff. Yep. That, yeah. Or no, no, the, the captain that's saying, if you get rid of human evil, you also get rid of human good, more or less. Well, you actually, have to look at both Yeah, sides. he goes on like a self uh, mm-hmm. discovery. Yeah. And uh, I know Hector does less of that because he's like in a cage yeah but i think both of them are well done but isaac is by far i just think a very dynamic character and actually grows so much yeah like more than like cypher yeah cypher really doesn't grow that much she she does a little uh but yeah i mean isaac is a standout character i think too for sure Um, other than that um there's some minor vampires of dracula's courts and everything uh that are really one dimensional. Yep. They each, for some odd reason, when they're like the generals, have one special ability for some reason. Like the Japanese one can uh, turn into mist for some reason. You know, it, it just oh, that's cool. That's cool, but like not really much there we're, at we're all. They're trying to establish that um, all vampires aren't just a vampire. They all. I don't know, but uh, for me, that's really all mm. I have to say for characters. Carmela. She's static. The other vampires, static. I think all of the vampires um, mostly are, save for, of course, Dracula. Well, the two lovers so kind of builds a slightly dynamically where they're like, it's just not worth it anymore to fight all these humans. So well, yeah, but well no, them. I think it's just, they're pretty tone deaf in the fact that, like, 
these two vampires are lovers, so they basically want to spend, you know, they don't want to have to live without each other. So they basically are like, yeah, I'm not going to fight anymore. There's a chance you might die and I might die. So let's just leave, Yeah, which yeah. is what they do. Uh, but yeah, I mean, nothing real special, I think, from any other character. So right? just a bunch of side ones. So. I think we can go on to, to right. writing after that. Um, I don't know. I, I What I have to say was, um, you know, as far as animated TV shows go, um, this is, in my opinion, one of the most well-written uh, animated shows I've ever seen. I, I oh, watch I so. Adult Swim. Mm -hmm. I, I've, oh, I've seen a that few garbage. animes. <laughs> oh. I've seen... A, 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 a diverse set have you of even animations. Seen One thousand animes. No, I well, then you have no opinion. Okay, but uh, he I mean, no anime. No, he doesn't. Know I, I, I guess I don't. But I, I haven't seen anything in the animated world that that actually suits the level of complexity in uh, the writing. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Avatar: The Last Airbender. Technically guess, not an anime, but okay. But he said the animated world. Oh, A Avatar: The Last mind. Airbender gets close, but I wouldn't even say Avatar: The Last Airbender. As complex. The only thing Avatar The Last Airbender really has, in my opinion, for development is uh, the, the longevity of the actual series. You know, it's well over 100 episodes, I think. 130 episodes, I want to say. I don't know, across say all, all three books or whatever. I so it's way shorter, actually. I thought it was 130. I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, well, I, mean, I thought yeah. it was like know. 24 but books per... 24 episodes per book about. That'd still, like, be, know, that'd still be, what, 70? 70. Yeah, 72 uh, episodes. So, so they do have a lot more room to adapt, and so they have a lot more time to explore other characters, explore other kingdoms. But and that's this, my choice. This show no, I, I don't that. disagree. I think Netflix should, again, yeah, I mean, always said this. Netflix should uh, work on making longer storylines. Yes, they should. Yep, I think that's apparent. Um, but, I mean, with what they have, though... Uh, I think it's, it's like, incredible writing. For it's what they moment. do. The, the, the dialogue at times was a little, especially early on, like where people are kind of awkward with each other, was a little slow. But, but it was supposed well, to be like exactly. that. It's like it's, Alucard it's and name. Trevor. They're literally learning to... Trevor is a vampire killer. killer that is teaming up with a vampire. Yep. And he's well, like, wow, this is ironic. I, I think, hate you, but I have to work with you, huh? I think that was a really well-developed thing, you say, because it, it, the relationships felt human. They mm -hmm. felt like they progressed at realistic rates. You know, Trevor didn't see Sypha, and all of a sudden they were love mates. Uh, that didn't that is true. It was hinted they at by bang. Alan Card while they were in the Belmont Hold, and he's like, you might be getting too close or something along those yeah. lines. And I, I agree, it, that it was felt at a, a, a reasonable pace. Every relationship in the, the story actually felt reasonable. Yeah, um, I think so. And when that, uh, in season, I think it was three... When they first get into that town, Trevor gets a beer oh, and yeah. he's like, this is better than sex. And Sypha's like, oh, <laughs> oh hell sex, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was that like, was oh my scene. god. That was um, insane. scene. But, but um, yeah, I think we all, could all agree the writing is, I mean, not a masterpiece, but very well done for what it was. Yeah, it's really good. It, it has humor when it needs to. Mm -hmm. It has really good buildup. Climaxes are really well written. They feel like uh, it. Yeah, everything yeah. looks Our next good. thing I think we can get out to, we kind of touched on this, is the settings slash CGI, the, the actual the visual the, like, the animation CGI. style. Uh, the animation style is literally the best animation style America has. I America actually, just does not know how to do anime. I forgot to I want to say at, the animation is actually my least favorite part of the entire series. You're dumb. No, because and it's no. not because there's an individual animation series. It's not like a you know one anime. It's not and it's not a shonen anime. It's not a you know, a singular anime. From scene to scene, they will change animation styles, and that is so distracting for me. But I'll see it, and all of a sudden, Sifo will get these giant anime eyes, and I'm like, what the heck? This well, doesn't make sense. Beyond, 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 it'll change. Beyond five back, times the, the style it, on a general whole, to go back to one thing you said before, it felt like you said about dialogue, it felt real. The style and how things moved, the animations, all I mean, felt the world realistic. building. Well, no, I mean, the world looks my, gothic. My problem know, isn't to. the animation style as a whole. It's that the animation ch style changes so often that it becomes distracting. I think I you just I need to become a it's going along with, and like, I watch more anime because anime do that all yeah, the time. Yeah, it goes along with 
like an, an action scene will be action. No, the good thing well, though that like we that. the good thing we got is uh, in in this anime they don't try to blend CGI. Like, have you ever seen in yeah, especially the 3D. mech animes? The three oh. D CGI oh. looks freaking atrocious. Never do that. Do this well done, really nice, sleek anime where you can have a lot of detail to be without fair, getting that. It still could be uh, generated in a 3D world, and there's a decent likelihood that it is. I, of course, don't know for well, sure. Well, they didn't use whatever they do on all the other anime. <laughs> well, it's so. the perspective. It's forcing a perspective that really makes it... You switch from a hard 2D atmosphere to this blocky, like, Nintendo 64 3D world. And it's just so I didn't feel jarring. Like that jarring. No, I'm not saying that in this. I'm saying in general why you get that kind of oh, I uh, jolt in a, in a standard anime. But still, I think overall the actual style was really well done and brings a lot of detail. You, they can get a disagree. lot of detail the in every single as well. a tiny little I, frame. I think the color choice is well developed. Yeah. I think the general uh, animations really, really well developed, and it it does feel. Um, Again, human, like Colin said, it, it doesn't feel like they're they're jarring or they're moving in a way that's not possible. Yeah, I mean, I, we I, have uh, like a gothic setting where everyone basically has black and gray, yeah. and like we get one little splash of color with Saint yeah. Germain, Germain, sorry, Saint Germain. Germain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever he wants to be called at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I think we can kind of move on to the. Uh, the soundtrack that we're all kind of summated on the uh, yeah, favorite the part is the opening is only about five seconds long, which it's a good like music, but like I don't want to sit there when I watch a TV show and see a trust. forty second mm-hmm. intro every single time. Wait, five seconds is nice; it doesn't overstay its welcome. The weird I, thing is the the audio in the main theme kind of it, it just cuts on and cuts off; it doesn't fade in or anything like that. So just it. I mean, I have a different experience, and I don't know if this was just the Netflix I was using. Beyond the first season, I never saw the intro. It auto-skipped it or something. I mean, Netflix does that. Netflix does auto-skip but, the like, intro Well, like, in every time. other time I've watched, I've had to push it. I've had to push skip intro, and I've seen some of it. I never saw any even clip of it uh, beyond I mean, season one. Whatever. So I don't yeah, even know lucky. what the but, intro but is. For, really. for soundtrack and the audio... Uh, outside of the main theme, you know, this is a lot like Shadow and Bone for me. I think Netflix mm. likes to use very subtle soundtracks um, that barely play into the scene. And, and I what? do. No, I, well, yeah, that is true. But, like, during the big boss battles, they actually no. have, bo- like, boss battle music from that you would yeah. have in a video game. For Some Dracula, they had it. Game. And for Death, they had yeah. it, mm. which is really awesome to see. Well, here. And beyond just music, the soundtrack, the dialogue, pe- characters' voices, they also, in my opinion, like, they fitted their characters pretty well. No yeah, the voice acting was anything. very well mm-hmm. done, and they got good voice actors. Yeah. yeah, I think, I mean, pretty much all around, it, it's praise. Like, it's we a very praise well it done. in every way. I, mm-hmm. I think that's genu- generally the consensus. Yeah. I think, I mean, what would you guys give it? I think I would probably give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, now, nothing's perfect. It does have flaws, but a 10 out of 10, the highest you'll ever see because it's in a time, especially where we make crap, garbage, you know, just shite. Uh, it's good, good to see something that is actually well done, well crafted, thought out, very, you know, by the books and, and just, you know, well done. Yeah. All through and through. It doesn't have anything that it shoves down your throat. I'd give it 10 out of 10. I don't think I could reach as far as a 10 out of 10. Maybe if we see more on how these other storylines they've made end, I might I'd give it probably honestly an 8 out of 10 right now. Really wrap it's everything really up? Well. No, Isaac's storyline, Hector's storyline are still technically going on. No, not really. We, we have a vampire Isaac... court world that is missing a lot of powers that someone needs to fill, and that's going to cause drama. Well, that's we have gonna, a new Belmont coming That's going to be a second, like, that would be Chapter. a different, you know, story altogether. Because it but, wouldn't be, like, in the next, you know, ten years, the vampires somehow regain power. It's going to be, you know, in a thousand years, in a different place altogether... The vampires have finally collected enough energy and leadership at that point. Someone else will take the reins to actually do it. I, well, I think that's like a 
separate story altogether. If they go on the video games, I believe Dracula can come back every 100 years, so we might get one that far out. But well, I don't disagree, I mean, but I do feel like Isaac's story was never completely wrapped up. I, I mean, mean, that's, I guess, you. I, 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 I think it was. I, I think Isaac is left in a place where you can kind of guess where he's going to go. Yeah. Um, you know, he's becoming this humanitarian person. Maybe not fully. And a vegan. <laughs> but, um... Maybe he'll stop well, living I, I, I think he's <laughs> giving a new purpose to the... I mean, he so, gets he gets his the closure. closure things they make. The night creatures. The night creatures. He did have a new uh, purpose rather than just he's, he's killed. He wants to teach them basically yeah. how to be real yeah. beings. How because to be all they person. know is war, you know? Mm -hmm. Granted, um, they're hell creatures, so that may or may not and work. one yeah. thing, the main thing I could complain about, and I don't know if it's a huge complaint, but it just felt like it, I don't know, felt like it interrupted the flow, was the slow two sex scenes that were happening at the same time. Do we remember <laughs> this part? They were long, drawn, and they felt like they didn't match the rest of the anime. At the team. end of the uh, third season, that is. Mm -hmm. With Isaac and the girl vamp the no. little girl vampire. Uh, Lenore, uh, Lenore, Lenore. Lenore, and then uh, the second one was... Alucard and the two... I, oh, and the, yeah, the two, the two no people names, he pretty killed. Much, that come in and try to kill him. him. Because nobody and helps that, their storyline. I didn't like because they're like, was, nobody helps us, even though you're helping us. It was weird. Well, both of, both of those were like to develop the characters. I I, I don't disagree, but it, um, it felt but, I don't know, but, weirdly. Pissed. Yeah, I mean, so what do you think? so you gave it an eight out of ten. I'd actually say it's probably an eight out of ten as well. Well, you're uh, wrong. Not too. for the same reason, <laughs> but um, that's probably like Bob the Builder still. <laughs> Uh, no, we'll I, I mean, week. like I said, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of the way the animation style changes, and maybe that, and maybe I am just wrong, because maybe that is how animation, do, anime does it, but it's kind I of don't normal. like that. I don't like it. It, it's jarring to me. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's not, like, distracting, so it's still a really well done show. I'd go over and I'd watch it again. I mean, I've watched it almost three or four times through and through, mm -hmm. um, and part of that's in preparation for this, but part of that's because it's a it's a well developed show, and it has a lot a lot of um, story. There's there's a lot of well done. Um, well, I'd say then as a general, we, we average maybe about eight point five to nine out of ten. We're saying it is worth a watch for sure. We don't and do point uh, fives here. No. Okay. No, we at, do at the eight real to nine. one to eight ten. Eight to nine so. is the average we're looking at between us. And. It's worth a watch for sure. We're it's waiting. really, really well yeah. done, I think. So, Agreed. as always, if you like what you see, like and consider subscribing. Make sure you comment. Maybe what you want us to talk about next. TV shows, movies, uh, anything else. Be better too. Mm -hmm. tell us, tell if you didn't like feedback. something, give us feedback. Let us know how we can change up the show. Yeah, for sure. Well, I'm Cameron. I'm Colin. And I'm Carson. And we are signing out.